Hello YouTube, I'm Yoshi Legion here and I'm back again with another video. So, in this video I'm gonna be I'm gonna be going over Van Hal's verdict on United's 3-1 victory over Barcelona on the preseason tour 2015. So this is all from Moneynight.com, so credit goes to them. I'm just, you know, giving it to you guys. So Manchester United recorded an excellent three win win three three one win. Oh that's that's kinda of hard, you know. Let's try it. Three one win, three one win, three one three one win over European champions Barcelona on Saturday. And afterwards, Louis van Aert had a fascinating post-match press conference in front of the world's media. Here are the main points that the manager was keen to make. So, let's go straight into this now. No wasting time. On the win and United strength in the depth. The balance of the team is the most important thing. Last year, we won against the Champions League winner. It was Real Madrid at that time. Now we win against Barcelona, so it is possible. But we also had a bit of luck. Three balls hit the post, but I was pleased with our performance. Also, in the second half, when the youngsters came in, you saw spirit. We had the same amount of chances as Barcelona, and that I liked the most today. On David Dea's form and future. You have seen him in the first 60 minutes. In spite of his injury, he didn't train for a week, but he can show his quality already in the game. He has showed his quality, I think, because the first chance was Barcelona, was for Barcelona. And when you stop the first chance, then you can score the first goal. And that is always the difference in the game. Yes, of course, I do hope that David Dea shall stay in this world of football. You never ever know. On Memphis Depay and Mainly really linking up. Yes, I think they try to do their utmost best to look for each other, and sometimes I think too much, and I agree with that. And I think they should just, Depay and Rooney should just go for it. Oh, sorry, Memphis and Rooney should just go for it. Don't, don't keep looking for each other. It should be better when you have a wider orientation, and by that I think he means of the formation actually. Um, I think once we get Pedro, I think he's gonna play 4-3, but I'm not really sure. But I think that's what he means by wider orientation. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I think this this video may have to be a two part video, yeah? So be, be tuned for part two as well. But I think they were always a threat and that is very important. I think Barcelona could not cope with the threat of Depay and Rooney, but I have to say Adnan Yanez was also a big threat for them in the 30 minutes that he played as a striker and that is very good to see. Um, I put that very good in because Yanez played extremely well in striker position and Wilson played um, very, very well in the left wing position. So you know, he, Wilson could be a winger, you never know, Yanez could be a striker. So yeah, that's pretty good. On United's young team that finished the match. Yes, I was very happy with the reaction of the youngsters because they were more aggressive and that I always want. They were defending more, going forwards, and okay, sometimes you make the wrong choices and you were always the loser, but that is use also useful. But it was a team with the spirit. We created chances and we scored two goals with the youngsters, so I am very happy. The youngsters played amazingly that match. They actually played amazing. On Adnan Yanez's performance and winning goal. I think that Adnan Yanezai was very good because he always gives an option for his midfielders and defenders. He scored a wonderful goal and I think that is always important. He had to fight with two defenders and he did it very well. But it was more easy for him against the defence without PK. Obviously, PK, you know, if PK was there, it would have been different. But you never know. Yanezai could have marked PK as well. But Yanezai did play good that match. On fans in America getting up early to watch matches. Yes, I've seen it already last year. We played five matches here and we had 300,000 spectators in two weeks. When you see the amount of people in front of our hotel waiting for one day only to see the players, I try to give signatures and pictures and so on, but it is for a human being not always possible to do that because we have a very strict schedule for training, eating, sleeping, training, meeting, blah, 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 blah. So it's not easy for professional players to respond to these fantastic supporters, or fanatic supporters, sorry. Barcelona, the year for Champions League winners, but you see more red shirts than Barcelona shirts, and that is fantastic to see. On the benefits of staying in the Bay Area, we have already changed a lot of things in the tour. Uh, the last tour we were on the east coast, it was more hot, and this is basically of the thingy, um, you know, the camp and all that, where how he changed it, that's all that, I'm not going to read all of it, you can read that. On the possibility of Bastian Schweinsteiger playing against Tottenham, that I do not know because he has to prove himself, every player has to prove himself and also Bastian Schweinsteiger. He shall play against Paris Saint-Germain I expect, let us hope that he convinces me. So Schweinsteiger has not played that, you know, he's not played that well, but he should you know, hopefully play good against Paris Saint-Germain, which is on Thursday. And I'm going to be doing a predicted lineup and preview on that as well, so be tuned for that. And Di Maria, Rojo Hernandez. I have heard that Di Maria is not on the plane, so I can't say anything. He was not on the plane, Rojo wasn't there. He had passport issues, but Di Maria, he doesn't know why, but Hernandez is here. So Di Maria, he didn't know why he was on the plane, so I think Di Maria is going to PSG. You heard it here first. Anyway, see you later. Please like this video and subscribe. See you later.